dear Rhodes University staff and students, I thought I should take a moment to report very briefly on the 2022 second academic term. Our second term has gone exceedingly well. It has been an extremely busy term for all of us. One of the major success factors for us has been that almost all staff and all students had taken a vaccine. We were therefore able to engage in in-person and on-campus activities with a significant level of confidence. Let me, from the outset, offer our heartfelt appreciation and profound gratitude to you all for your contribution in our effort to remain true and faithful to our university's academic mission and purpose. But let me also thank you for taking a vaccine because that demonstrated that you did not only care for yourself, but you cared for our community. I'm happy to report that teaching and learning has gone off extremely well. We continued to offer it to face-to-face -face engagement or through the learning and teaching modality of HyFlex, a combination of face-to-face -face and online learning. While some challenges were experienced with HyFlex, I'm delighted that our tech team was always on hand to address these. I must indicate that we must always build on our digital technology to support teaching and learning. At the end of the term, students wrote invigilated sit-down exams, quite an experience for those who had had to take online exams for the past two years. On the research front, in spite of the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, our academics and researchers continue to produce and disseminate high quality and life-changing research. They participated in conferences, workshops, and other scholarly meetings and fora. I'm delighted to report that two of our professors presented their professorial inaugural addresses. They are Professor Helena Van Kola of the Faculty of Law and Professor Julie Kutzer of the Faculty of Science. They both presented intellectually stimulating and engaging lectures. Our community engagement activities continue to flourish with a major highlight in May when we have community engagement week. Our efforts to collaborate with local stakeholders through our Makanda cycle of unity continue to grow from strength to strength. It is in our own best interest that we make Makanda a vibrant, sustainable, and livable city. We are indebted to all those who are involved in that effort. I'm happy to report that our university finances remain strong in this second term. We are indebted to the finance division for maintaining stringent financial prudence and discipline at all times. Towards the end of term, we initiated important discussions to review our institutional development plan, our strategic document as a university. These discussions will continue in the third term. We were deeply saddened by the passing of one of our pharmacy students, Mr. Lizo Chila, and the loss of our staff member, Mr. Sabelo Saula, a lecturer in the School of Languages and Literatures. We are immensely grateful to our council, deputy vice chancellors, deans, academic and support staff, directors, managers, and of course, all our students for making our second term a great success that it was. 
Let me also take this opportunity to welcome our students and our staff back for the start of our third term of the year and wish you everything of the best as we continue to offer the best education that anyone could hope for. I thank you. It's lovely to be back on campus right now. So good to be back on campus. Back on campus. Back on campus.